Just three more. Okay, so we're collecting three matches. And when they say good luck or give us a blank one like this, they mean you're doing it all from scratch. So if you are feeling lost or if you're not sure what, how to make sure you have everything, a good idea is to go back and look at your stuff. Now, see how this says safe collect M? And here we only collected one. Because we're going to want to use a for loop in our next one, I'm probably not going to use M. But that's okay. You can use any letter. All right. So going back and looking at your previous coding will help you. And I know I say this in a lot of videos, but not everybody watches every video, so I have to keep repeating it. So we're going to start by defining chase. Not capital. And I'm going to use A as my parameter for chase. And then we've got to put a few things in until near A. Whoop. Turn to A. Step distance to A. Now I'm going to do another function for collect. And I'm going to call collect, I'm going to give that um, T. I don't know why, just because. Because I don't want it to be M. Although I could say use any letter in my for loop also. So until cat sleeping wait because we want to be safe every time but then once the cat wait is asleep so make sure that you're lined up properly here we're going to chase because we're using our function and our parameter is t so i put t once we get to T, we're going to grab it. And T will be our matches in this case. It's the variable that will be matches. After we grab it, we're going to chase, which seems weird, but it's the function name. Pile, as in turn to, step distance to. And when we get to the pile, we're going to drop. And then finally, after all of those are done, now we're ready to write our code, which is for M in matches. Collect. M. All right. That should be all of it. So up here are two functions and down here are code. 